back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Jaguar Health's channel committed to discovering, developing, and commercializing plant-based prescription medicines for the urgent global health needs. Joining us, as always, Lisa, the Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, happy to be here always. And then always a pleasure to have you back on. So you guys just dropped some earnings here I really want to dive down into because uh, there's a lot of incredible numbers kind of coming out of this. Your net revenue, $2.6 million, increased approximately 24% over the fourth quarter of 2021 and increased approximately 112% over the Midas-C uh, net revenue in the first quarter of 2021. Can you kind of explain this for us? Break it down. Tell us what's going on here. Yeah, well, thank you. You know, you got that out really fast. And, I, you know, I say it every day. We're so, so pleased with it because... The, the increase is a representation of the success of our patient access program. And so the last piece of the patient access program was shifting from a distribution model that was basically a warehousing model to a specialty pharmaceutical model. And so that increases, it decreases distribution costs. It increases the gross to net ratio in a positive way. But most important, those benefits, those increased revenues are a representation of how many patients we are better able to serve. And so the whole picture is a beautiful picture and it will continue throughout 2022 because of course we have made that successful transition to specialty pharma at this point. I appreciate those insights and uh, the excitement behind, uh, and again, you guys just changing lives here and moving forward as well. I mean, you're on target for phase three clinical trials of Crifelomer, which I know is a big uh, uh, drug movement for you guys. Can you kind of just brief on that real quick? Tell us what's going on there. Yes, this is for cancer therapy related diarrhea, which is the most common side effect of cancer or of cancer therapy. And we're not talking about garden variety like you had a bad Mexican meal. I mean, this is diarrhea that can put patients in, in the hospital. It can affect the outcome of their cancer treatment because 40% of the time, the patients have to go off their life-saving therapy. So we're in the midst of that trial right now. It's a single pivotal phase three clinical trial. We discussed the design with the FDA for about 15 months before we started to minimize any risk. Just adding some international sites now as well. So it'll be very exciting. We expect patient enrollment to be completed in the first half of 2023. And what's also exciting as sort of a companion, ha 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 companion, is we do have Canalevia, which we are commercializing now for chemotherapy induced diarrhea in dogs. And interestingly, remarkably similar situation, about 40% of dogs have to go off their cancer therapy because of the side effect of diarrhea, which affects dog comfort and the whole household if the dog has lost control. And if I could say one more thing about dogs, on uh, May 23rd in New York, we're going to have the launch of something called Take Charge, which is the first U.S. canine cancer registry ever. They have them in Europe. They don't have them here. And the key thing about protecting our dogs from cancer is being informed and having facts about age, um, geography, where the dogs are most likely to come down with cancer. The incidence is about five times the incidence in humans. And then the decision, once you're informed, the decision to take charge of your animal's health and, and get cancer care. And the most important factor there is the comfort and the support of the dog. And that's where Canalevia comes in. Yeah, that's awesome. And kind of just moving forward here, you guys got so much going on. Is there anything else investors should be paying attention to? Yeah, so the um, we have so many so many events going on. So we talked about the cancer. We have um, our the European company that we established, Napo Therapeutics, is has initiated a program for proof of concept for short bowel syndrome, a catastrophic situation for patients where we're looking for crofelomer to be able to potentially decrease the amount of time these patients are on parenteral nutrition, which can be up to 20 hours a day, seven days a week. Imagine being hooked up to tube or parental um, feeding. So that will be going on throughout 2022, and we expect to have results that can be published by the end of this year. So that's a huge, important patient impact, another uh, shot and goal for crofelomer. And um, we have a cholera program that we expect to start into clinical half of this year as well, treatment for the dehydration associated with cholera with a second generation anti-secretory product called Lequimer, distinct from crofelomer. All right, so lots to look forward to. And I want to pass the question off to the viewers at this point. We'd love to know what you guys think about all of this in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news continues to come down the wire, of course, we'll update you here. But on that, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one. Thank you.